Early this morning, I uploaded a video that revealed a site in Antarctica that, to my mind, was the greatest piece of evidence yet that there is active life on that continent. The source of it, that's up for speculation. But what we showed, the cave, the footprints, clearly delineated something other than just ice and rock and natural formation. Now, the reason I have a picture of a stargate up in front of you is that off to the left, visually, of that cave site, there was a large disturbed area in the snow that I hadn't investigated yet at the time that I uploaded. And it is nothing short of a colony. What I think that we were looking at is that one cave site was just one small tiny piece of what is either evidence of a subglacial civilization, some type of a crash site. But when I show you what I found today, I found something that looks literally identical to what's on your screen right now. Even size-wise, it's the same thing. There's also been requests that um, those footprints that we talked about, that I measure those, I have. And while it's hard to show, I'm going to try to, um, that entire region is a gently sloping hillside going up. And by gently, I mean 25 degrees. If you were walking, you definitely wouldn't have a normal stride, especially in deep snow or ice. And looking closer at the picture, it looks like the giant, for lack of a better term, might have been carrying something or might have been injured because there's evidence of what looks like a walking stick of some type in the pattern of the footprints. So anyway, the reason I brought this picture up is that this is, of course, Stargate Atlantis. This is the, you know, the city that they found in the series and that it, of course, was able to submerge and go deep under the ocean and it could also fly through outer space in the series. So the idea that something could be or have been submerged under what was at the time a great deal of water and then have that water freeze above it might not be out of the realm of possibility. So without any further delay, this is that cave entrance. I will, of course, put these coordinates in the description. But I just want to do this for everybody now just to, um, to recap. This is what right here I alleged to be a seated giant right here with what looks like, you know, this, this part here in the center looks like head. Think of maybe this person has something over its shoulders, something very large, like maybe the entire skin of a polar bear that would make it seem thicker than it would normally be. The hand being here, another hand being here. Also off to the left here, I had noticed this and I had just forgotten to mention it. That's very clearly the face of a goat. You've got two horns, you've got the mouth, the, the beer, everything, the nostrils, everything. Now, and also that's, that's roughly 30 feet from, from tip to neck. So this is clearly a statue, some type of a worship device. Now, let's just look real quick at these footprints. I am uploading today in 4K. Unless you have 4K, um, you won't be able to see it, but if you have the ability to watch this on like a Roku device on a 4K TV, you'll be able to see this in as high definition as I do if I can get this to maintain focus. Give me one second to kill the lights here. All right, real quick, I'll just go ahead and give the, spo the spoiler. They're roughly between the strides are 15 to 10 feet. Depending on, it looks like the person might be staggering. So real quick, ruler. Here's the first, uh, what we'll call right footprint right here. And I have this set in circle. Hold on. And let me set it to feet. All right, there we go. All right, I'll go ahead and pull this over here so you can see it. This is 15.5 feet from center to center. 
and it looks like this is the first step, right foot, left foot. There's a little mark right here that looks like it's a walking stick. And it looks like this person, it, this looks almost like a double step where they were right foot here, left foot here. They brought their right foot up and they stopped and they leaned on their walking stick for a minute. Then left foot, then right foot, left foot, and they stopped again. And it looks like, and I'm going to see if I can show this. It's very difficult to do unless you're looking at this from the right aspect. Do you see how this is a sloping hillside up? It's very difficult to show unless you're looking at it. I would really recommend everyone download Google Earth Pro. It's not very much on your hard drive, but the amount of information, the things that you can do with it are like nothing else. And honestly, for all of the naysayers, well, Google wouldn't let you see that. I don't think they know. There is so much data here. So many pictures. And you've got to zoom in real close to see stuff. And honestly, I don't think they believed that people would be going through historical data. Seven years old from Antarctica and finding this stuff. They just might not know. They might not have the people to go through and scour every little thing like this. But without any further delay, there's that. Over here to the left, now I'm going to zoom out real quick just to show you. This region I have delineated in this purple circle right here, there are more things than I can count. I had to stop to make this video. I've only covered maybe a third of it, so I'm sure if you went to Google Earth Pro, you'd find things here that I hadn't gotten to yet. And I don't mean stuff that's debatable. I mean real stuff. Now, I'm just going to start up here so I don't forget to go up here. Guys, look at this. Look at these pieces of ice sticking up, casting shadow. In perfect straight lines. Perfect straight lines. This is some type of field of monuments. This isn't natural. This isn't normal. And right here, initially, I saw something that was a perfect right triangle right here. But then when I looked closer, there's a perfect isosceles triangle. There's actually three triangles here. There's one here. There's, okay, the big one here. There's another right angle up here. Okay, now look, here's the right triangle. Here's the height. Here's the base. Two. And then here's this perfect isosceles. Now, depending on how you look at this, it looks like you're looking at an isosceles triangle from the right-hand side. Kind of at an angle, but it's not. There's no way. There's no way this was created by nature. There's just no way. You look at the glow, and it, there's no way. But I've got a lot to cover. I can't dwell on this kind of stuff. I'll give you guys all of these coordinates. I'm going to give you one general coordinate, and then you can find all of this for yourself. All right, where do we start? Let's go right to the Stargate, since I've mentioned it right off the top. Where is it? Here it is. Now, when I zoom in here, you guys are going to freak out. I almost hit ground level. Perfect circle, the two bases right there. Up here, I mean, uh, look at the, the detail work here, the colors, the shading. When you zoom in closely, and I hope this shows up as detailed as, I have a very large screen. I have a 27-inch computer screen, touch screen, that I can see things on, and the way this records... Sometimes it doesn't come through. I hope the 4K helps.
All right, there is... Okay, let's go here. Now, I want you to look closely. I know pareidolia exists. But guys, this is got an eye. It has a shadow for the eye. It has a nostril, a nose with two nostrils. It has a mouth. It has its chin. It has a neck. It even has an ear. This looks clearly like somebody constructed a face that can be seen from high above. Or maybe it's just artwork. But the idea that that came out in that level of detail with cheekbones and earlobes and a hairline and a neck... And if you look closely, it's almost attached to some type of a body. I mean, I've seen pareidolia before, guys, but that is, that is way beyond the face on Mars. Way, way beyond the face on Mars. And this whole region looks like just a series of caves and dwellings. And there is stuff uncovered here, gold and silver and blood red color. Let me show you something here. Look at the coloration here. How would this show, how would this show up if this were some natural ice formation? And it almost looks like there's some type of a drawing or carving next to this large blood red colored thing description fails honestly it really does there's so much here how to describe it is here's the main what looks like entry saucer crash site this opening here is about a thousand feet across to give you an idea and once again look more perfect triangles with colors of everything in the rainbow here. How could this possibly be? All right. Now look at this one. Tell me that does not look like the head of a bear. You've got your eyebrows here. You've got your nose. This even, this looks exactly like what a bear would look like if he was growling at you. A polar bear, no less. Now, given I know polar bears don't exist in South, that's South Pole. They don't now. But who knows how old this is? When you, and like I said, I will give you these coordinates. Look for yourselves and tell me what you think. Does this not look like a humanoid statue? Head, arms behind, some type of a base or pedestal, or a monument this thing is up on? And up here, look at the shadows. Rectangular, rectangular, rectangular. This is not just normal ice and snow. This is an incredible treasure trove of evidence right here at this location. And none of what you're seeing is stuff that I've covered before. This is what I've labeled, I don't know what to call it, I've just called it the clamshell feature. It looks like a giant clam, and there's light inside it. The mouth is just kind of slightly open, and there's light inside And, and you're right, what it is, is up for speculation. But some of the things here are just beyond real. I just labeled this ice ledge. Because just out of this cave somewhere, here's this giant piece of ice. And if you look really super, super close, it almost looks like there's railings on the side of this ledge.
And I'm sure a lot of you are like, but you missed this, but you missed that. Yeah, you're right, I did. There's so much here. Here's a statue right here that looks like it's kneeling. You've got the head, you've got the arms, here's the legs and the feet. I didn't know what to call this. It's just a turret-like shape that just seems out of place. It's it's rounded. It's darker than everything. It's got what looked like a couple of small cannons on one side of it. And just the colors alone, even if there weren't the um, other things. This almost looks like the edge of a saucer with just a shadow over it. What would be causing the shadow? Don't know. All I know is, is that if you go look up in the Rockies or the Appalachians where there's snow, you won't find this. You won't find this in Greenland. You won't find this in the Swiss Alps. And those are just the few things that I was able to label before I decided, look, I've got to get to making a video. Here's the last thing I'll show. This looks like a giant, perfectly rectangular piece of glass with something yellow underneath it. There is just so much stuff down here in this region. And I guess I'll just leave it here because there was one thing also I wanted to show. If you look, if you would even say that this right here was a shadow, if you look at the top of it, it looks like there's a small being standing on top of it. Never seen anything like it. And I guess I'll just leave this set here so that you guys can just absorb. Like, share, subscribe.